After a loss in 2018, Nelson Chamisa, the most popular opposition leader, still aims to topple a party that's ruled Zimbabwe for over 43 years. His run was hard. Some hundred meetings were banned or disrupted by police, a sympathizer was killed, and supporters reported intimidation in rural areas. And the people were singing in the morning, everybody going to vote for Chamisa is going to die and they're going to kill you. We have fear. We, have fear. we can't wear these t-shirts freely. Today, President Emerson Mnangagwa is criticized much like his predecessor, Robert Mugabe. Civil society organizations in Southern Africa cite the lack of freedom. Human Rights Watch issued a damning report in early August. Its title, Crush Them Like Lice, a phrase Zimbabwe's vice president has used against the opposition. We thought with President Mnangagwa there would have been a new dawn. But we saw with the violence in, in 2018 and the violence preceding this election that things do not seem any brighter. Our report concludes that the pre-election environment is not conducive for a free, fair and impartial election as for international and regional laws and standards. As in previous polls, the Electoral Commission is suspected of being biased. The president nominates its members. Civil rights groups took issue with the electoral list, thousands of voters with similar names. When we have registered voters with similar or almost similar details who purport to be the same person, we send their details to the Registrar General's office. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time. More than 6.5 million Zimbabweans will head to the polls in this crucial vote. And as usual in Zimbabwe, the result will hinge on voters in rural areas.